Uh, back to another album review. Today's review is on Seoul, South Korea, January 11, 2017 by Metallica. It's another album from the Live Metallica series of official bootlegs. This performance was when Metallica were doing a world tour promoting the newest album at the time called Hardwired Self-Destruct. The concert took place at the Gochiak Sky Dome in Seoul on January 11, 2017. The album was recorded and mixed by Mike Gillies. Now, the front cover photo was taken by Brett Murray. And the back cover photo was taken by Stefan Terrazzi. The packaging was designed by Dan Nikolaiko. The album was released in January 2017 on Black and Recordings. Now let's talk about the songs starting with the ones on disc one. The first song in the set list is Hardwired. This is the first song from Hardwired Self Destruct. The next track is Atlas Rise. It's one of the best songs from Hardwired Self Destruct. After that is Sad But True. James Hetfield always asks the audience if they want heavy right before Metallica plays this song. Next up is Wherever I May Roam. The song is from the Black Album. Up next is Kirk's solo number one. This is Kirk Hammett's first guitar solo of the performance. We followed up with The Unforgiven. And this is originally from the Black Album. That's followed up by Now That We're Dead, which is one of the heavier songs from Hardwired Self-Destruct. What's next is Moth Into Flame. This is another song from Hardwired Self-Destruct. What's after that is Harvester of Sorrow. The song first appeared on Injustice For All. What comes next is Bass Solo. This is the part where Robert Trujillo performs a bass solo. Well, what comes after that is Halo on Fire. I find this to be one of the more memorable songs from Hardwired Self-Destruct. The last song on this one is The Four Horsemen. Metallica regularly play this song during live shows. That's it for this one. Now for this two. The first song on disc 2 is 1. The position of the song on the set list means that we're just over halfway through the set list. What follows is Master of Puppets. We all, uh, we all know this is the title track from the album of the same name. Now the following track is For Whom the Bell Tolls. And uh, that song was uh, originally from Ride the Lightning. The track that follows is Kirk's solo number two, which is the second guitar solo from Kirk Hammett. The track that comes after that is Fade to Black. And this song was originally on Ride the Lightning. The track that comes next is Seek and Destroy. The position of the song in the set list means that we're nearing the end of the concert. The next track is Battery. This is one of the best songs from Master of Puppets. The second to last song is Nothing Else Matters. And this is among the most popular songs from the Black Album. The end of the concert is Enter Sandman. Metallica usually play the song near the end of their concerts. And this time it's at the very end of the concert. There is no information available regarding how this album performed commercially. However, 21 people on Discogs claim to have it in their collections. Oddly enough, this album doesn't even have a rating on Discogs. And now for my thoughts. I think this is a really good album. Every time Metallica release a new studio album, they always go on a world tour. This concert is one of the handful of times where they performed in South Korea which I think is pretty cool. Overall, I highly recommend this album. If you want a copy for yourself, you can always get it from Metallica's web store along with other live albums. 
I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, now's the part where I question you. I've listened to Seoul, South Korea, January 11, 2017. If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? Did you attend this concert for yourself? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.